Fox and Badger bring Ulmer along, but he gets drunk and starts complaining that no one understands him. They realize Ulmer is not a fun drunk and regret bringing him. Ulmer overhears and questions their abilities as warriors. Fox explains that their village is peaceful and they have their usefulness in a fight. Ulmer challenges them to draw their swords, but they refuse. In frustration, Ulmer throws a tantrum and Fox realizes he doesn't want to be treated like a child. Fox advises Ulmer to complete a rite of passage by killing someone, which will make him feel confident and understand the fragility of the human body. Fox suggests a target on a nearby farm. Einar wakes up and heads to the well to wash his face. On the way, he hears Thorfinn screaming and rushes to check on him. Thorfinn wakes up confused, and Einar asks him what he dreamed that made him scream like that. However, Thorfinn doesn't remember. At the well, Einar finds a woman named Arnheid already there. She kindly offers to let them wash their faces before she leaves. Einar says that washing his face won't make him feel any better, but Arnheit disagrees and compliments his face, which embarrasses Einar. Arnheit introduces herself and guesses that Einar recently joined their group. Einar confirms and explains that his village is descended from the Nords and speaks both English and Norse. Arnheit is surprised to hear this and notes that Einar speaks the language very well, considering she thought he was Norse. Einar apologizes, assuming it must be difficult for Arnheit to understand him due to his thick accent. Arnheit then apologizes herself, revealing that she hasn't mentioned her status. Einar is surprised to learn that she isn't Kettle's daughter but another slave and Kettle's personal attendant. Fox and Badger approach Thorfinn and Einar, who are standing together. Fox jokes about them gathering to plot their escape, and then asks Thorfinn his name. Badger wonders if Einar is also a slave, as he doesn't recognize him. Einar explains that he joined them this summer. Fox then invites Thorfinn and Einar to follow him, and they all start walking. As they go, Einar notices that Fox and Badger are carrying swords and wonders who they are. Thorfinn explains that they are guests and serve as the defensive force at the farm, essentially acting as bodyguards. Einar initially assumes that whatever they want won't be good, but then remembers how Arnheit complimented him earlier and starts to giggle. Fox notices this and comments that Einar seems to be in a good mood and is quite lively. The group approaches Ulmer and the other men, presenting Ulmer with a sword. Fox commands Ulmer to perform a precise cut. Confused, Einar questions the group's intentions. Fox reveals that they are preparing their young master for manhood and plan for Einar to die for him. Outraged, Einar demands to know what they have done to deserve this. Fox coldly reminds him that their lives are not their own and their owner has the right to do as he pleases. Ulmer, however, hesitates, acknowledging that Einar and Thorfinn belong to his father, not him. Killing them would require him to pay back his father. Fox is disappointed with Ulmer's reluctance and wonders if he is simply afraid of his father. Ulmer denies this but Fox urges him to act. In a bold move, Einar urges Thorfinn to flee as he charges at Ulmer, taking him down in a fierce battle. Thorfinn hesitates, but two other men quickly threaten him with their swords, warning him not to move. Helpless, Thorfinn sighs, conceding that Ulmer can kill him, but notes that they only need to kill one of them and should leave Einar to return to work. Snake wakes up and calls for breakfast, but his old man tells him it's too late and suggests he should help with the harvest instead. Snake refuses, and his old man refuses to cook for him, prompting Snake to head home hungry. After Thorfinn's statement, Fox is surprised and asks him about his name again. He then questions if Thorfinn understands the consequences of being cut, to which Thorfinn confirms that he knows he will die. Einar wants to intervene, but Badger silences him. Fox believes Thorfinn's words diminish the value of their product and questions if he understands what they sell. He states that death has value because everyone fears it and takes out his sword making cuts on Thorfinn's chest. He demands that Thorfinn beg for his life, but Snake returns just in time to witness Thorfinn's resilience. Thorfinn challenges Fox, questioning the point of living if nothing good has ever happened in his life. Fox grows frustrated and cuts part of Thorfinn's ear, threatening to harm his eye. But Snake steps in, punching Fox in the face and ordering Badger to explain the situation. And with that, we conclude this episode.